Hello everyone, TragicMTG here, and I am still at it buying random buys. Uh, I can't seem to stop myself. Uh, this one from Goodwill, uh, as usual. Uh, the Goodwill of Southern Arizona for 41 plus some shipping in it being about 535 with the tax. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, this one almost fooled me. I don't know what I was thinking when I was looking through the pictures here. These oversized cards in the back here one of the other pictures uh, for a little while I was thinking they might have been the real deal being the smaller cards um, just the aspect of it kind of fooled me here with this card but I'm pretty sure these are the oversized commanders and there's an oversized Abbas and Angel of Hope so that is not the real deal they might be a little bit but not like what we really want them to be so going back here do you kind of have some somewhat older looking boxes which you never know what you're gonna get so that's the the whole mystery and the fun of this. Um, I did see some rares poking out. Hopefully there are actually decks in here or maybe they just threw them out here and that's what this is. Um, let's see, is there any rares? Um, yep, there's a Mirko and there's a Goblin Diplomat. Uh, this one is a Whip of Erebos, so that's promising. It's at least a few bucks. So um, hopefully we can get into this and get our money back of about 535. Um, cards in, in hard cases is a promising thing to at least look at. So. Let's do it. All right, the goodwill effect is in effect. Let's see what we get. 13 pounds. Should be about 3,000 cards. There are some deck boxes in here. They seem to be mostly empty. Yep, empty sleeves. Boo, well. Maybe they just got uh, tossed out into the rest of this junk. Grab just to see here, just a little, little taste or some bite into Thassa's. Good, more than one, so that's a good start. Um, Ranger, Ogre Battle Driver, nothing big, but uh, maybe we'll find something actually good in among this stuff there's some foil so there we go that's a good sneak peek uh, we'll reset this and turn on the scanner and we will do this properly in a bit right ready to go here is the first box to go through so whoops it just kind of fell apart a little case the cartel aristocrat and some orzov Sacrifice stuff going on here, um, which really won't be a whole lot. Now, the Aristocrat is a, a great card, but I don't think it's worth a whole lot. It's used for just what you would think it would be used for an Aristocrat's deck. And then here's the Full Art Planes from Original Zendikar. They may not be a full 90 cents, but they are cool to have. Here's a bunch of them. So I will end up selling these as a lot of uh, Full Art cards on the Ebays. And uh, hopefully get a little bit for them. And here's some more. So cool. Especially the originals. They're kind of nice. And they're in uh, pretty good shape. Mountain, 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 mountain. Great. I'll take those. Um, next on the box is that stack of buy dance that we found. Someone must have been specking. They thought they needed eight or so of these. Uh, commander version. Switch it, original. It's a 224. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. First little hit there. Already up to 20 bucks. Let's see if we can continue to capitalize. Ogre Battle Driver, only 73 cents. Yep, so that does not make the list. It's technically a bulk rare gonna go into the pile maybe I'll end up making like two piles here so I can keep them sorted for myself that seems smart and some foils can go into the same pile as that so thousand year elixir 8.45 on the commander version, so this is a little hit here. 
Original Lorwain, Thousand Year Elixirs, 1383. There's two of those. Excellent. Very glad to see that there's stuff over 10 bucks in here. And a wooded foothills right at the end. Wow. Well, that was worth going through. Hey, a fetch land? Unbelievable. Those are 47 bucks. I thought these uh, all got reprinted and the price was supposed to come down. Yes, big thumbs up. Um, all right. I'm going to grab a sleeve real quick. Okay. Got it. It is in really good condition. Uh, definitely just for hanging out inside of the rest of the lands. This is in good shape and I'm extremely happy to have it. I can't believe the price on these. I swear, didn't they just get reprinted? In uh, Zendikar Rising Expedition. So just the Expedition versions has apparently done nothing to alleviate the, the demand on these. Oh, there's another mythic, Ugin's Nexus. Great. Let's see what that's going for. A couple bucks. All right. And what is this rare? Is that... Oh, my God. It's Cyclonic Rift. That's amazing. Um, mental Missteps, pretty okay. Yeah, yeah, it's very okay. Five bucks. Cyclonic Rift. Uh, pretty much the best card from Return to Ravnica. And again, a card that's been reprinted a few times recently. Honor Masters, Double Masters. And it, can, it just retains its value. It's just so popular in Commander. Um, yeah, definitely get rid of all of your opponent's creatures all at once. That's definitely a good plan. Whew, I'm glad to see that there's some really decent stuff in this collection. Because none of this stuff was really shown other than a few rares, and that's definitely what I what I like to gamble on. Another mental misstep, we'll add one on there. And a rooftop storm, great. Um I think there's like a crazy zombie um, combo you can do with this now. And so it's gone up a bit, it's 958. Appetite for Brains, one of my favorite cards. Num num. Blood Artist, excellent. And Glacial Fortress, they, uh, there's decent stuff in here. And it's adding up. Fortress, five bucks. It's the M12 version. Innistrad stuff. Oh, let's get let's get a snappy. Let's get a lily. What else is left in here? I'm just constantly surprised at like what gets left behind in these collections. And I'm telling you, the ones that you look out for, the ones that are not um, properly displayed, and you can just see a, some rares poking out. But it has to be just right because there are. Plenty of fakers out there, on, especially on eBay, um, that know how to display them. That's why I like Goodwill so much. The thrift stores, they, they do what they can. They show off like the stuff that has a gold symbol um, and then foils, but they don't know everything like a, like a person like me would who's trying to just flip these on eBay. So be real careful on eBay. A lot of times when I get these, I can't, it's hard to figure out what the rhyme or reason was of you know, how they were organized, why stuff got put back. I think a lot of people just build decks. And then they don't know what to do with certain cards, so they just end up in the bulk pile. 
and they forgot to put it into their trade binder or it wasn't worth much at that time and then here 10 years later it's really been 10 years since some of these sets almost and uh, then all of a sudden they're worth something Taxi and Probe, I think it was banned. Is it still banned? It's still used apparently. One, two, three, four of those. Cool, we got that old ponder. So someone was playing Delver. They were flipping their delvers with these ponders. And they uh, were getting the old version since they were standard legal. So there's two of those and two of the original. So two and two. Great. It all adds up. Looks like someone, it looks like this is a deck. There was some parts of a Delver deck and parts of a black control deck or something, you know. Yeah, yep. Rise from the grave. Corpse, mind rot. Yeah, we're trying to mess with people's hands there. It's nasty business. Lobra crew. Dryad militant. Um, this is like kind of a showcase, right? It's an alternate promo. Dryad militant is an okay card. Game day promo, 89 cents, so it doesn't quite make the list, but I'm going to leave it on. You know what? And some spawns. Let's see here. What is this? We got a Theros. Are these postcards? Oh, man, that's cool. Look at this. Hero's Path postcards. God's Willing, got Nylea, Perforos, Erebos, Thassa, Heliod, um, like Shrine to Nyx or something like that. And there's Elspeth. Wow, these are cool. I've never seen these before. These, I wonder if these came with, did these come with a holiday gift box? I'm wondering. That's pretty cool. Well, as a connoisseur of all things weird and magic, I will keep that in my pile of stuff that's weird and magic oh man look at this there's a jace memory adept but man look at how eaten up it got the dog ate my homework right here cool well i'm i'll probably send this to bgs and see if i can pull maybe like an 8.5 on that um but for now i'm just going to set it aside So, not all of them are sleeved. Hey, there's a Garrick. Garuk? How do you guys say it? Let me know down below. Beast token. Garuk? Garrick? Apex Predator. He's not the one that flips. From M15. He is $15. That is pretty solid. We'll put him right back into the sleeve. Although that sleeve's a little dirty. Let's get one of these grumpy cats here. The Apex Predator, excellent. Not a big one there. Ooh, Court of Calling. Hey, that's nice. Um, kind of a good card. Ah, uh, reprinted in Double Masters. Find the original. Is this the original? No. Reprinted from Ravnica. 
but for six bucks, that's an okay one right there. All right, next up, lamp pack from Theros. Let's pull a seal. I'll throw that into a pile. Here's some PAX Unplugged sleeves. Anyone ever go to PAX? Always kind of wanted to go. I feel like I'm kind of out of the uh, out of the age limit for something like that, though, and I don't have any time, and I don't want to travel halfway across the country to go to it. But hey, I'll take some sleeves. Here is a Death Cap Cultivator, the release, pre-release version, and good luck on getting the scanner to see it. Um, I don't think it's really a big 20 card Death Cap Cultivator pre-release card. Bing, it's a buck 91. Leave it right in the plastic like that. Elspeth versus Tezzeret. Can we get an Elspeth out of here? I'm going to try to just avoid scanning all the bolt rares in this and just focus on well this one this one would not even be able to scan. Let's check it. Oh, oh, the scanner doesn't even know it cuz it's a it's a unapproved car, Journey to Nowhere and Swords of Plaster. So we'll we'll pull those right out of this dual deck. Um, I don't know, it might be worth it to sell the deck as a whole. So I'm gonna put it back together for now, but I'll. We got two swords of plowshares from this one, and they're almost three bucks each. Yep, that was it. Okay, so there's no Elspeth in here, but um, some other okay cards. So if that's the case, the deck is not complete. I will go ahead and pull my three okay cards there and put them in the okay pile and then I'll pull all the bulk rares there is a prime speaker Zagana it is the gate crash version and it is five bucks Aha! A Vexing Devil is a good card. Five bucks there. Angel of Jubilation. Wow, six, two, three of those. Goblin Diplomat. So this, I, I could see this in the pictures of the listing. 48 cents, right? So don't be afraid to buy a collection if all you see is a bulk rare or a few bulk rares. There's possibility that there's more. Anything decent in this deck? Hey, there we go. Vraska the Unseen. Mythic and a Temple of Deceit. Vraska's a buck fifty. A little pocket of rares here. Increase hey, excellent. That one doesn't count. Alright, Aurelia the War Leader, a Mythic. Gatecrest. Wow, that is a lot more than I was expecting it to be. I knew it. See some play. We'll throw it in this channel fireball sleeve. Very nice. We are on our way, people. Whip of Erebos. That's more than I thought it would be. Six bucks. All right. Heartless Summoning is almost three bucks. There we go. 
Look at these tokens, these are great. Illustrated by Joe Volian. Volian? Yeah. Token of what? Ghoul? Goblin on a bike? That's great. So I'm gonna hang out of those. Stone rain and a chain lightning from the from legends. Wow, I was not expecting to see that, and it's pretty beat up. Look at that. Just in with these old red cards. Someone had to hand me down. So heavy play. But as a legends card, 18 bucks. Throw it right there. Wow, it's actually a four bucks. Creatures with flying get plus two. Creatures without flying get minus two. You get two of these. And, hey, a Niven Rawls disc. Larry Niven. Oh, summer magic, that would be nice. No, sadly, this is a fourth edition. Three bucks. There's another Blood Artist. Eternal Masters reprint. Avacyn 587. Another Blood Artist. One, two, yep, someone was doing some reanimator stuff with that. Great. So three more Blood Artists. Total of four. There we go. There we go. Um, this is it for the rest. Oh, this box also had the uh, the large format uh, commander cards that I noticed. So I'm just going to see what does it think about this Avacyn. Yeah, the, the, the small one would be 43. Uh, the oversized card. This says it's $51. Uh, I find that a little hard to believe. I mean, I'm, I'm sure some people might want it. There's showing five bucks for the mid price, a low of forty four ninety five, a market of not available. If a, if they were to trade it in, someone might give you a couple bucks for it. So um, I'm gonna take it off the list. It's definitely not fifty bucks, but it's kind of interesting, and I will hang on to it. Now I'm kind of curious about these other ones. The Mimeoplasm. And it's it's foil, so it can't like see it that well. So we'll just kind of skip those, but. Hey, there we go, Athreos. Couple of them. Let's see, Journey into Nyx, Athreos got a passage. 11 bucks, two of them. Nice little hit there. Five bucks.
Okay. I'm going to move on to this last box here. Got a pre-release box there. And looks like a Tezzeret deck. The other half of the Elspeth Tezzeret. So I um, guess we probably won't find a Tezzeret since we didn't find an Elspeth. So it's okay. We've done pretty good so far. Just need just enough to break even and go over hopefully. So let's see what we got. We got more Biden to Thassa's, amazing. So someone really thought this card was gonna take off, apparently. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven more Biden to Thassa's, which I think that makes a total of 20. Let me find it on the list here. Sort by name, go look in the bees. Yeah, we're now at 20 of those. Bringing our total to 493, because they were like a couple bucks each. That's pretty, pretty interesting. Primal Crux. Wow, very nice. 759. I don't know if I've ever seen this. For six green, it's trample. Power and toughness each equal to the number of green mana symbols and mana cost of permanent you control. Well, it's a, starts off at least as a 6 6. Wow, pretty decent. Put that into the pretty decent pile right there. Ult, it's an ultimatum deck right here. Ashmore Liege is five bucks. There we go. Black and red creatures get 1-1. One, one. Primal Beyond. As it comes into play, you may reveal an elemental card from your hand. Oh, it's an elemental deck. Well, that makes sense if I was paying attention. If you don't, it comes into play tap. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Spend this only to play elemental spells. So that's pretty good right there. Uh, I will take that. And it will go into a nice new sleeve here. Primal Beyond, so I think that actually does it. That breaks us even. We've got still most of the rest of this box to go through, plus whatever this deck is that seems to have some pretty decent rares in it. And stuff like Jungle Shrine, which is like okay. Coalition victory. Isn't that banned in Commander? Maybe it wasn't back then, I'm not sure. Ashling, 420. Coalition victory is a buck. Um, it's actually the time shifted version, which is under 90 cents, oh no. Yeah, I think that uh, that is a banned card. Let's see, what do we got here? Joiner Adept. Wow, three bucks. Mana Morphos. Well, alrighty then. 
750. It's uh, been reprinted and kind of coming back around again. Diabolic Tutors, I've noticed, have actually been coming up in price. Um, they must be seeing uh, plenty of plenty of Commander because this card has been reprinted a bunch of times and now it's finally over a dollar as a Garrick. I'm going to keep calling him Garrick. You guys can correct me down below. Garuk just doesn't roll off the tongue. Mana Silex in foil is not going to make it. Garrick Wildspeaker. The M11. Wrong one. 686. Ball Lightning. Coat of Arms is good. Ball Lightning is actually a buck ninety-nine. Coat of Arms. Seventeen bucks for the 2010. And this is the what do they call the Duel of the Planeswalker version? Sixteen dollars for coat of arms. Yep. Whatever tribe you want, this wants it in their deck. Hey, the Mimeo Plasma, so this is what the the deck was. Child of Alara, 673, great. So the Mimeo Plasm, oh, these are different sleeves. So uh, was that the commander? You couldn't really do five color with the Mimeo Plasm, so maybe he just went into this deck or was part of a different deck or something. So for four bucks, though, that's nice. Some more stuff here. Elvish Piper. M10. Okay. Elves are a thing. 788 for the Piper. Prismatic Omen. Wow. 22.99. That's great. Lands you control are every basic land type in addition to their other types. Wow. It's got some possibilities. Johnny Goldman. Six bucks, the M11. Elvish Harbinger, that's decent. Wow, like really decent. Well, that commander deck turned out pretty decent. Had um, quite a few nice cards in there. Rexial, the Risen Deep. He's a Kraken. From Warwick, but it's actually the commander. Almost five bucks. Sanguine is nine bucks. Buried alive, four eighty-six. Skullbriar, seven bucks. This is adding up nicely. Oblivion Stone, four bucks. Eternal Witness, reprinted a bunch of times, still five bucks. Lightning Greaves and a Ziggurat, great. So, every commander deck has got to have this card. That is why it is. 691. Ancient Zig. Pretty much any tribal deck has got to have this card. 599. Wow, there we go. Vesuva. And that must be your commander right there. 
15 for Vesuva. They get reprinted, they go down. They get demand, they go up. Damia, Sage of Stone. Eight bucks. What's she do? Death touch, death touch. Skip your draw step at the beginning of your upkeep. If you have fewer than seven cards in hand, draw cards equal to the difference. Well, Tat will keep you going. That will keep you going. Thicket, Wonder. Wow, well, that's very nice to find here. Another Commander staple. <laughs> And might as well get the revised version. So this one sees quite a bit of play. Uh, it's definitely like heavy play. But there it is, a revised Demonic Tutor. And again, you can reprint this card, but it's always going to go back up. In fact, I don't, I don't even know if it went down when it got reprinted in Strixhaven. Um, whatever those are. So there we go. $41 minus condition, which will be quite a bit. So... Forest. It's a nice looking forest right there. Oh, and a soul ring. That's a nice looking soul ring right there. Hey, there we go. Liliana Vess is in this deck. The original Lorewind version. 11 bucks. That's a keeper. Living Death. There we go. 7 bucks. Avatar and a Grave Pact. Hey, nice. A couple bucks. Okay. Those have come up. Whenever a creature you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, each other player sacrifices a creature. Take that, opponent's creatures. You could really do some nasty business with sacrificing your own creature. So that's going to just keep going up until they reprinted a bunch, which they have. And Stronghold. Actually, it's only been reprinted in Commander and Plane Chase since the old days, so that's a solid hit right there. Shout out to Amazing Discoveries. Foil Dead Bridge Chant. Wow, actually six bucks in foil. Avenger of Zendikar. Wow, okay, it's actually okay. Nine. Another thousand year elixir. Over 900 bucks, so. Getting paid back here. Eight seventy nine for dread. It's 
Swarm Lord is six bucks. Phyrexian Unlife, seven bucks. Assassin is four. The Highborn, a couple of those for five bucks. Luminarch Ascension. Been reprinted, but it's worth a bit. It's in the car. 1157, Luminarch Ascension. Runescar Demon. Actually, wow, four ninety nine. Can go over here. Three of those. And a Soren emblem. Wow, four ninety seven for the emblem. Cool, I'll just leave it right in there. Plus your highborn was five bucks. There's Two more of those. Wow, that's nice. Batter Skull uh, promo of some kind. Very, very cool. Oh, I've never seen this art for it. I've never seen this version of it. This is pretty decent. Let's take a look. What does the scanner think about it? Grand Prix promo, 15 bucks, that's it? This batter skull was reprinted in Double Masters, so it came down a bit. Uh, but it's still a pretty nice card, and it's in great shape for just being loose in this, so... Um, that's cool. I'll keep this. Wow, Royal Assassin. Captivating Vampire, 1275. Very nice. Royal Assassin. So someone got a deal on some old revised black cards. They had the Demonic Tutor in that one deck, and now here's a Royal Assassin that's very bad shape. But it would have been 1279 in mint. I'm going to leave it on there just to piss people off. Necrotic Ooze. 6,000 Year Elixir again. It's probably going to see the other version. Yep. This is the lore win, so that's like, what, four or five of those we found now? Master of Ethereum. Beastmaster Ascension. 916, so this is a pretty good stack right here. Right to flourishing. Praetors. Five bucks each, wow, two of those. This has been a good batch of cards. Oh! Look at this! Look at this right here! So, I gotta tell you guys, last week I was building a commander deck. I was upgrading the Strixhaven um, Golgari deck that like is heavily into like life gain and life loss. I went looking through my collection. I'm sitting around about 50,000 cards right now. I was looking for one card. One card I needed for this deck. It was Exquisite Blood. I know I have one. I know I have five or six of them. I could not find it. I am so excited to find this card right now. You, can't even, you don't even understand. This is uh, going to go right into my commander deck that I'm going to play. Uh, got a little corner bend there. It's great, I don't have to buy one of these because they are actually $39.99 sitting right now. That's that's fantastic, I'm super happy. Endless ranks of the dead, well, sure. Well now I got one to spare, another exquisite blood. Yeah, not the jump start. Now nah, we'll take that off, we'll put it right back on there. I'm very psyched about this, can you tell? I, uh, I really love the, the life 
gain life loss strategy, and I, I definitely want to pull off the combo with like that and any other blood artist effect, the opposite effect of that. So here we go, endless ranks of the dead. Another great card, twelve bucks. Furnace of Wrath. Planeswalker version 779, yeah. Red deck wins with that, I think. Thada Adele. 954 for Thada. I was about to put her over into the bulk pile. On walk, whenever it deals combat damage to players, search the player's library for an artifact card and exile it. Then that player shuffles his or her library and explain the and play that card. Oh, wow. This would be good. I think there's a card that can make every card in your opponent's deck an artifact. Am I wrong about that? Well, we'll take it. Royal Elemental. This is good, too. It's like 10 bucks. Yeah, there we go. Exquisite Blood, number three. Forty bucks. The dark cards is a lightning bolt, another chain lightning from Legends. That's a fourth edition Howling Mine. 836. There's another Legends card. It's another chain lightning. Very nice. It's like 19 bucks. There's this tower, is what that was supposed to be. There we go, a Bloodlust. Original Legends Bloodlust. Pretty bad shape. And a Runescar Demon and a bunch of Heartless Summonings. One, two, three, four. That is it. It actually brought me over 1400 bucks for all of this. That's pretty amazing. Well, all in all, this co cost me 535 bucks and at the on the scanner showing just over 1400 bucks. So it looks like I almost tripled my value here and hit some pretty interesting stuff along the way. Uh, definitely got um, a lot of thrill out of getting those three exquisite bloods and a uh, demonic tutor and a bunch of thousand year elixirs and a grave pact and a bunch of other stuff that all added up quite nicely I'm um, very happy with my latest pick only one fetch land but hey that's okay wasn't expecting that in the first place so there you have it um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it I always enjoy doing these now I have to edit this into something watchable so hopefully that will happen uh, make sure to check out my other videos, like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Tragic MDG out.